You look like a guy that needs a thing. What? I do? I'm a guy that has a thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang. I bet you've never seen one this small before. How is it so tiny? Does it work? Oh, it gets the job done. It's like a needle. It's all about how you use it. Can I touch it? Up, up, up. Looking's free. Touching will cost you. The ones I've seen are usually bigger. Size doesn't matter. Wait, why don't you have pants on? Uh... <laughs> What were you talking about? What? What? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Check out all these guns. But before you do that, I want you to come over here and look at my big manhole. Come on, come around the table. Come on, don't be shy. You've seen a manhole before, but mine's bigger. Come on out, come on, it's over here. It's right there, that's my manhole. So this is my brand new giant manhole. It's made by Cap Composite Access Products. Uh, just cap that, dot com. They, uh, they saw a video I made a while back with a all metal iron manhole. It was a little bit smaller and it was super hard. There it is. I was actually wondering where that thing went. Anyway, that video did really good. It stopped a lot. Uh, my my small manhole stopped a lot. My old, that's, that, you guys saw my old manhole already. So my big manhole is what we're gonna shoot today. And uh, Cap sent it to us. Just They just said, hey, we make these things custom. We wanna make a demolition ranch one. So they made it all custom. And what's different about this one is it is not metal. There is no metal in here. No cap, there's no metal. They said this cover specifically is the largest one they make, being a 36 inch resin transfer molded cover. What this means is they have 20 to 26 layers of woven fiberglass sheets layered into the mold and then a liquefied thermoset resin is ejected at high pressure until it cures in about 90 minutes. That's how they make it strong, is it has this resin and it is all shoved in there with pressure with all the fiberglass sheets. So they say it's very similar to the way Kevlar is made up of a bunch of little fibers that's how fiberglass sheets are. So they think there's a chance it will stop bullets. Now, will it stop big bullets? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. So we're gonna shoot it, no cap. Well, we're gonna shoot the caps, but like for real. So we have a brand new gun over here. Don't look at, but before we look at that, come over here. Let me just sh show you, don't, come on, man. Here's what we got. Normal length gun. This has a 16 inch barrel and has a, yeah, normal length of pull here. So this is how big most fighting rifles are. Everyone's seen that before. So a way to make it a little smaller, because a lot of times you want it to be a little more compact, a little more concealable, a little easier to get around. Some ways to do that are shorter barrel. So this is a pistol. Um, you can have a pistol or an SBR, where basically everything is the same length, up into the barrel. And then this barrel is a 10.3 inch barrel instead of a 16 inch barrel. So you make it a lot shorter, but as you guys know, you sacrifice speed, sometimes accuracy, you sacrifice energy coming out of there when you don't have as much room for that bullet to accelerate in that barrel. So another way to make a shorter package, which we all know and love, shorter packages, is a bullpup. That is the IWI Tavor, and that is a full length 16 inch barrel in a bullpup configuration. So you can see right here, the mag goes in front of the grip. So the barrel starts here. Right here, our mag goes in back here behind the grip. So our barrel starts back here. So it just makes everything more compact. So same length barrel in these two guns, but you can see this one is much more compact. So the benefit here, full length barrel, full power, smaller package. So Desert Tech also makes a bullpup. This is the Desert Tech MDR, chambered in 556. Very similar to the Tavor. For all intents and purposes, they are the same size and weight. These are roundabout same size guns. And then Desert Tech was like, we could go smaller. And so Desert Tech basically put the SBR, the short barrel, with the bullpup. And right here we have the Desert Tech MDRX Micron. So 
you can see everything from here to here looks very similar on both guns. But instead of a 16 inch barrel, we have an 11 and a half inch barreled Micron right here. So Desert Tech boasts that this is the shortest firearm in the world with an 11 and a half inch barrel. So its overall length of pull is shorter than any other 11 and a half inch barreled rifle. And what is really cool, I mean, you can imagine if you shoot this thing or this thing without a suppressor, there's, they're very loud because there's still a big blast coming out of there. But if you put a suppressor on this, which we have, this is the JK Armament SBR X. This one is a 30 cal can. You can put a suppressor on this thing and just like that, it is the same size as the full size bullpups, but now it is suppressed. It is a lot quieter than one of these full size, full length barreled bullpups with the same size length of pull. Mark 18, unsuppressed, Desert Tech Micron suppressed. And you can see that the Desert Tech is actually shorter than the Mark 18 with a big suppressor and a longer barrel. So this has almost an inch longer barrel plus a suppressor and it's still shorter than the Mark 18. Before we shoot the Desert Tech though, we're just gonna start uh, actually shooting my manhole. And don't forget, if you'd like a shirt with a picture of my manhole on it, you should get it. There's probably a special someone in your life who you wanna get a shirt with some dude's manhole on it and this should be that shirt and I'd like to be that dude whose manhole is on your, your friend's shirt. All right, nine millimeter out of Springfield Hellcat. We have no idea. Did you get hit with stuff? A little bit. I didn't at all. Huh. We have no idea what this is gonna do. This may not be bulletproof at all, but we're here to find out. No, that's a solid stop. You can see the, the fiber in our fiberglass there, but stopped it like a charm. Okay, uh, in the last one, I think we shot a 5.7 at it as well, so let's do that. This is the Ruger 57. It's like that gun from that other company. Uh, oh, is that Belgian company? I don't remember. It's, it's just like that gun, but better. Right in the center of my manhole, just freaking down the middle, just straight up, straight up the manhole, the middle of the manhole. That looks very similar. And let's just double check. Oh, we have a we have a pallet hooked to the back of it. Nah, nothing's coming through. We're solid, dude. Okay, well, I guess we gotta put something bigger into my manhole. 58. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Let's see. All right, put, place your bets in the comments below. Is this going through or just stopping? <laughs> I felt a little bit of dusting there. What was that big ding? Was that the brass flying back? I don't know, man. I, saw, I thought I saw something come back. Ding. Yeah, I think it was the brass flying up on the huh. roof, maybe. This Let, is this is safe. Let's go investigate my manhole up close. Dude, the bullet stuck in it. I mean, it didn't go through, but that is the 50 AE bullet just freaking smashed into there. Ah. Is it hot? No. It's fine. 12 gauge shotgun, we have a one ounce slug. We're gonna send it straight at the manhole and see what happens. That's, your manhole takes a beating. Yeah, dude, and it just keeps on going. Like, it can take more. Yeah, my manhole's stronger than I thought, so let that be a lesson to you. My manhole really takes a licking and keeps on kicking. Oh, man. Let's shoot it in its unsuppressed form first so you have your 11 and a half inch barrel going off right next to your face good times we have a primary arms this is the slx little red dot on top it has the acss g2 cyclops reticle in it yeah let's make some noise shoot dog there's a big flash coming out of this the camera, it's always iffy on if it catches it. Just kind of depends on the frame rate. Dude, 
Dude, it is so freaking loud. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. I think it's time to, to tame the beast. Please. Because, jeez. Okay, we put the suppressor on this thing, so we'll see how this works. See if it makes it a little bit better to shoot. Alright, so I'm seeing no flash. Yeah, that's nice. And I can smell a little gas, but there's no gas actually like hitting me in the face. It's not kicking our brass too far. I can feel a little bit of gas coming back here, but normally on an AR, it's puffing it right in your face, right here. That is pretty neat. Okay, so we have both of them side by side. They are the same size in length, uh, but one is suppressed. So you can choose this one, get a little more performance out of it, or you can choose this one and not you know, blow fireballs and blast your ears. All right, let's just see what they sound like here. Unsuppressed. <laughs> let's do a little 4,000 yard shot. That was me. That was me too. So bullpups a lot of times have kind of spongy triggers because they have to have a linkage because it's firing from back here, but you're pulling trigger from here. So it goes through here. This one actually feels pretty good. Which is why you can shoot, you know, long range consistently with a short barreled SBR bullpup. I had an idea. You know how we usually like break into a montage and stuff? Mm -hmm. Can you edit it to be like smoky, like like early morning fog? Like get, a, get rid of all this harsh sunlight everywhere. It's messing up. I think the vibe would be really cool if it was like spooky. Just edit that in. I mean, I don't even think it's possible. You can't edit the weather. Shh. I am the king of the demolition. I can do anything. That's not my mouth. Matt, we filmed that this morning. Shut your mouth. Okay, guys. Let's shoot a 5.56 five, straight at my manhole. That may have actually stopped. What the heck? 5.56 five, right there, as you can see. And from the front, it looks like nothing went through. And from the back, I see nothing. That is pretty crazy. There's no metal in this. I don't know how thick it is either because it's, it's not this thick. This is just a cover that is hooked into a base, but it is obviously thick enough to stop a 5.56. Okay, that's that. We, uh, we gotta go bigger, I guess. We're going big, boy. We got the 308. I charged it with this reciprocating charging handle because it should it still reciprocates. All right, we are gonna go. I, yeah, I don't think it's gonna go through. 
I think it's I think it's stopping. It was a hard hit though. Alright, if you investigate closely my manhole right here, that's where it was hit. Now, come around to the back door, back side. Dang, we actually really did not think that we would even make it to 308 and it stopped to 308 with no problem at all. So that actually is the end of the video. See you guys. We got a 50 BMG. This is a regular full metal jacket, ball ammo. Will it dive deep into my manhole? It felt good as it went straight in. Do you think it went through? Nah. I actually think it stopped. You got a really tight manhole. Yeah, I know. I've been telling you for years. Yeah, I think it went through. That's our hit. Let's see what we got. We cut all the back out so we'd be able to tell. What? Oh no, it went through. Okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> you can see more of those fibers though. Just layers and layers. It, it tried, it tried really hard. But, you know, every once in a while, your manhole just sees something powerful and has to let it in. So the suppressor has removable baffles. So we took out uh, all but two. So we have a very short little package. Uh, this thing will not be very suppressed right now, but I just kind of want to see how suppressed it is. Actually, it's better than I thought. Shooting dirt. Still a little bit of fire coming out of there, obviously. Because a lot of bit of fire. But it's not punching you in the face like if it didn't have that on there. Sweet! That is the Micron. If you already have an MDRX, you can just order the Micron kit and it replaces your barrel and the front end. And it's actually really sweet. A super tiny, very powerful package. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. If you want this shirt, link the description below. I love you! And I'll see you next time. <laughs>